Welcome to this latest episode of Preserve the 80s, featuring very poor lighting. I'm in a parking lot outside of Wendy's in Middletown. Uh, just finished looking at two houses I couldn't afford. So to console myself, I shall be eating at Wendy's. Be using this uh, industrial security integrators folder, which I keep my work documents in as a makeshift tablecloth, if you will, and the views and opinions expressed in this video may not necessarily represent those of an industrial security integrators LLC, but maybe they do, who knows, who cares. What I do care about is that Wendy's has some new burgers that they've released and we'll be examining them. There's This, uh, I guess they call it just the barbecue burger or something similar. Can't read the sign from here. But here it is. It's got uh, bacon barbecue sauce. Some onion rings. It's almost like a, at least in appearance, some sort of hybrid between uh, the rodeo burger at Burger King and the double R from Roy Rogers. If you happen to remember Roy Rogers or if you're lucky enough to live someplace that still has them. I don't know, napkins, that's not good. So let's try the barbecue burger out, see how it is. Simple yet effective. It does everything it has to do without a ton of fanfare or special effects. When you have the ability in hand, you can uh, do without all the extra bells and whistles, and Wendy's can do that. That being said, it's no McDLT, but it's not bad. Next, we have the strangely named Smossum Bacon Burger. Well, it's more of like a bacon cheeseburger, but you know by now that's not going to happen on this channel. This looks like a classic double with bacon. I don't see a real difference yet, but let's find out. Well, one bite in, I can't tell the difference yet, so let's probe further. It appears they have uh, some kind of sauce on this, and the onions are slightly more cooked than what you'd usually get in a classic double. It reminds me a bit of the old Big Bacon classic, only they don't have the cornmeal dusting on the roll of that ad. <clears throat> Lost that friend in 2007. That was a hard hit to take. Also, uh, found out that they're doing cookies now, so why not explore that field? basic sugar cookie. I think I've just stumbled upon quite a secret. The cookie's been uh, sitting next to some fries, which are pretty hot, and it's sort of uh, reinvigorated the cookie a bit, get it more of a fresh out of the oven taste. I'm going to be using that. I hope you do too. So I'll wrap things up with, uh, well this is supposed to be a large fry. Looks like they didn't feel like doing that. 
there aren't any spilled inside of the box. Which is bad because that might just completely destroy the theory I had about warming the cookies, but life goes on. Error number two, they did not give me my butter. Now if you're eating fries, you should always top them with butter if it's available. Wendy's has what's known as buttery best spread. Uh, it's like a little tub of butter, you pour it over your fries, and it is absolutely delightful. Yeah. It appears I'll be going without that luxury tonight. But on the brighter side, found some napkins. So all is not lost. So we're going to go back to the basics just to enjoy these fries for what they are. Butter would help, but if you... Uh, take a vacation to Las Vegas, you don't necessarily have to go to Caesar's Palace to enjoy it. Such is the case with butterless fries. Well, not much to say. Typical Wendy's fries, done quite well. On the whole, I would say I'm mostly satisfied with how things turned out, aside from the butter problem. But they're entitled to uh, have a miscue every now and then, as we all are. But Wendy's has earned, a little bit, earned it a little bit more than most people. So with that, I will say farewell. And if you feel like trying these burgers, go ahead and do it. And if the french fry cookie experiment works for you, let me know in the comments. I would be, I would be deeply touched. Good night.